Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. If you're new to my channel, thank you for tuning in. I always appreciate a growing audience. Four things. One, hit the subscribe button down below. Next is a like button. Next is the bell notification. Leave a comment, leave a question. I've noticed that now that you guys have a lot of great questions. I always appreciate the questions. However, I'm noticing that the questions are a little bit too detailed and seems a little more personal. And this is why I'm trying to guide you over to book me for a session, www.totalwellnessdupage.com. Hit the book now button. We could talk either face to face, we could zoom, we could talk on the phone because a lot of these questions are getting a little more detailed and I want to give you the respect of talking to you one on one to see if I can help you. So I appreciate it. Thank you for turning in. This is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for tuning in. Again, four things. One, subscribe. Two, like. Three, bell. And fourth, leave a comment. As you know, I do read the comments and I answer the comments in short form. However, there are a lot of comments down there that are asking very specific things. And this is why I always lead you to my web page and hit the consultation. For 20 minutes, I'll be more than happy to talk to you to see if I could help you or answer more questions, or possibly let's go to the next step. So if I can help you, I could recommend what we need to do from that point forward. So please go to my webpage and book me for a consultation if the, comp if the comments are too complicated. Okay, so I'm doing this series on what is the significance of bile? Bile acids, the bile salts, the gallbladder. Why do we need the gallbladder? What happens if the gallbladder is removed? Okay, and also let's go from the from the start and that's lipolysis because you need good fat to make more bile which will help your system overall. But the main question is always what's the difference between bile acids, what's bile salts, and what's the importance of bile on the system. So bile salts is very simple. It's, it's conjugated bile acids. Now remember it's all, this is all primary bile acids so they haven't left the liver yet. So it's conjugated with a molecule of glycine or taurine which are amino acids before they leave the liver. They're conjugated with a bond between the carboxyl group of bile acid and an amino group of glycine and taurine. So you take the bile acid, so basically you take the two primary bile acids which are cholic acid and keno deoxycholic acid and I just say, let's put two hats on each. So you take the bile acid, let's put the glycine hat on the cholic acid, which turns into deoxycholic acid, and let's put the glycine hat on, on the other one, so it's glyco, keno, deoxycholic acid. So really what we're doing is we're just putting different, an amino acid hat on the primary bile acid to change the name and structure. So you take the bile acid, you add the taurine hat, and it turns into taurocholic acid, and then also taurokino deoxycholic acid. So you can see it's the same name, just with a different hat on it. And those are primary bile acids. Now the ratio of glycine to taurine, this is where the ratio comes in, it's different. So it's a three to one ratio. This is why that supplement Tutka will help improve and balance out and make it just a little bit stronger. So when glycine or taurine is added to bile, bile acid, the importance of it, the amino acid group added on, what it does, it reduces the acid strength of the carboxyl group, glycine, or the sulf sulfonic group, taurine, and what addition, so they're both, which now they're both fully ionized, which it's called the negative charge, at a physiological pH. So this is why taurine and glycine are so important as that connector. So, there, so therefore, the bile salts are more effective detergents than bile acids, bile acids alone, as they have an enhanced amph amphipathic function. So basically what does that mean, de uh, detergent? So imagine having greasy hands. Greasy hands, okay, that's like the oil. You just can't put the, your hand, greasy hands over a faucet because that's water. Now we have cells that love the fat and love the water. So what the bile acid does what the taurine and glycine does. So you take the detergent, imagine like jacking it all up and making that super duper improved. 
That will help get rid of that grease, which is the fat, off your hands. So this is the importance of having this. Only conjugated forms of forms bile salts are found in the bile. Okay, so only conjugated forms bile salts. Remember, what are bile salts? They're conjugated bile acid. It's like that detergent, but it makes it super strength. And that's the, then that's the importance of the conjugated glycine or taurine. So, bile, so the purpose of bile salts provide the only significant mechanism for cholesterol excretion. So if you don't have a gallbladder, which what does a gallbladder do? It stores and concentrates it until it's needed, okay? It's not gonna get the cholesterol out of your system because the only way to get the cholesterol out of your system is through the use of bile salts. Remember, 95% of it is recycled, that 5% is excreted through the fecal matter, which gives it a color. So if you have poor gut health, it's not gonna, it, this is where the cholesterol is elevated, especially the LDL. So cholesterol is used to form bile acids and eventually bile salts. So cholesterol is good for you. It does, it forms the bile acids, which eventually the bile salts. And the bile salts in, the bile salts in the bile dissolve cholesterol in the small intestines and that's how it gets excreted. So really in summary, remember this is all synthesized, made, made in liver and these are primary bile acids. So you take a cholic acid, you add the glycine hat and the taurine hat and it makes it glycocholic acid. The taurine hat, taurocholic acid. You take the keno deoxycholic acid, you put the taurine and the glycine hat on each and it turns into glyco, keno deoxycholic acid and toro, keno deoxycholic acid. So I hope this helps. I know this is kind of confused and I just want to just do a little brief explanation on this and just like a, like a cliff note version. Thanks for watching. Keep on continuing with the next video. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.